As a part of our volunteering series, we take a look at the German Red Cross, Deutsches Rotes Kreuz. For the beginning of the Red Cross, we have to go back almost 200 years to Italy. The Swiss businessman Henri Dunant wanted to speak to the French Emperor and witnessed the Battle of Solferino on 24 June 1859, in which Austrians fought against Sardians and French. Dunant saw the suffering of the wounded and the lack of medical care. These impressions led him and four other citizens of his hometown of Geneva to prepare an international conference on 9th February 1863. The committee called itself the International Committee for Relief to the Wounded. From 26 to 29th of October 1863, 63, a conference was held with participants from numerous European countries such as Spain, France, the Netherlands, Great Britain, Austria, Sweden, Russia and some German states. In the end it was agreed, among other things, to establish national aid organizations for the wounded, the neutrality for the wounded in a war, further conferences and an edification and protection symbol for institutions and helpers in the form of a white armband with a red cross. This was actually just a reverse of the Swiss national flag. As a result, this organization, the International Committee of the Red Cross, also became a non-state subject of international law as only the Holy See or the Order of Malta are. The committee is based in Geneva, Switzerland. The oldest national association was the Württembergische Sanitätsverein Württemberg Medical Association, founded in the Kingdom of Württemberg on 12 November 1863. This later merged into the state association. The second oldest and still existing national association is the Verein zur Pflege Verwundeter Krieger Association for the Care of Wounded Warriors, founded on 2nd January 1864 in the Grand Duchy of Oldenburg, which is now a separate regional association in Oldenburg and not part of the regional association of Lower Saxony. In Germany, these associations and societies spread so quickly that during the war between the French and the German Confederation under Prussia in 1870-71, it was possible to provide very good care for the wounded on the German side. Compared to the direct death on the battlefield, only a few sick and wounded soldiers died on the German side. The situation was different on the French side, where the deaths among the wounded and sick soldiers exceeded those of the direct death on the battlefield. While the growing regional associations initially focused on the victims of the wars and worked closely with the military, the new German Red Cross was decoupled from this after the First World War and founded in Bamberg on 25th January 1921. It works accordingly to seven principles. Humanity, impartiality, neutrality, independence, voluntariness, unity and universality. The German Red Cross now exists in Germany as a superordinate federal organization with 19 state associations. Apart from the typical federal states, there is no state association of North Rhine-Westphalia but two associations, North Rhine and Westfalen-Lippe. The aforementioned Oldenburg State Association and a separate Baden State Association in Freiburg alongside the Baden-Württemberg State Association. Another specialty is a regional association in Bavaria which is called the Bavarian Red Cross and is not referred to as a regional association with the abbreviation DRK like the others. In contrast, the other regional associations which are all associations, the BRK is a public corporation. After the Second World War, the BRK was re-established in 1945 and given the legal status of a public corporation, while the German Red Cross was only re-established in 1950. 
In addition to the regional associations, there is also the Verband der Schwesternschaften vom Roten Kreuz, Association of Red Cross Sisterhoods, which emerged from the women's associations, such as the Badischen Frauenverein, Baden Women's Association, founded by the Grand Duchess Louise in 1859. In Germany, the DRK has almost 3 million members, which is more than one in every 30 inhabitants of Germany. In Germany, the Red Cross is also part of the umbrella organization for independent welfare work. The Red Cross and later also the Red Crescent movement are international aid organizations that, in addition to their origins in war, in which they also looked after the welfare and rights of prisoners of war, or set up a missing person service after the war, help many people today. The protective symbols such as the Red Cross or Red Crescent and, for some years ago now, the Red Crystal are internationally recognized and enjoy special protection. People and facilities labeled accordingly may not be attacked in conflicts. This protected status is also one reason why, for example, the first aid kit in a car does not have a Red Cross but a white cross on a green or red background. The German Red Cross plays a major role in civil defense and disaster relief. Numerous members volunteered to set up tents, cities, distribute food and water and of course care for the sick and injured in the event of disasters and catastrophes. The German Red Cross has the appropriate material, vehicles and equipment available in appropriate warehouses throughout Germany. The first Wasserwacht, water rescue organization, was founded in Regensburg back in 1893. And since then the German Red Cross has also operated water rescue services throughout Germany to protect people in the event of flooding or water accidents inland or near the coast. Due to the growth in mountain tourism in the 1920s, there were also more accidents in the mountains, so the Gebirgsunfalldienst, Mountain Accident Service, was founded in Munich. There was already a Bergwacht, Mountain Rescue Service, in Saxony in 1912. Apart from the Bergwacht Schwarzwald, Black Forest, all mountain rescue services in Germany are now members of the German Red Cross. The Federal Mountain Rescue Committee of the German Red Cross is the central body in which the Black Forest Mountain Rescue Service is also a cooperative member. Within the framework of healthcare, there are DRK clinics, rescue services and old people's homes, and the sisters from the DRK sisterhoods work as nurses and cares for the elderly. There are kindergarten and open day schools run by the DRK. The DRK also provides meals on wheels or home nursing and care for elderly. In some cities they run a soup kitchen for the needy. Of course the DRK also organizes training courses from babysitter training to emergency measures at the scene of an accident and first aid training to training for paramedics in the emergency. The Water Rescue Service organizes swimming courses and courses for lifeguards. The German Red Cross has school escorts and everyday helpers and regularly calls for blood donations locally, which are then organized by the local German Red Cross groups that support the German Red Cross blood donation service. The youth organization of the German Red Cross is the Jugendrotkreuz, Youth Red Cross, which children can join from the age of 6 up to the age of 27. The Red Cross Youth Organization stands for Helps, the Environment, Peace and International Understanding. Here too the children and young people come together, learn, have fun and similar to the Youth Fire Brigade can also come together for super-regional events such as the Red Cross Youth Camp. As part of mutual aid across borders, German Red Cross helpers are also deployed in other regions of the world. These can be acute emergencies such as earthquakes or floods, the consequences of crises and wars or the protection and training of people. After the 2023 earthquake in Morocco, for example, there was no official request for the help from the government but the local Red Crescent asked for help and the German Red Cross, among other, immediately sent relief supplies. Paramedics, doctors or rescuers from the mountains 
a SKU service can also be deployed to provide help on site in such disasters. The DRK also provides support in Germany. During the influx of refugees in 2015, numerous emergency shelters were run by the German Red Cross. Beds and furniture from the disaster relief organizations were used and many people were given initial accommodation, sanitary facilities and food. Personally, I thought this was a good opportunity to test our capabilities in our own country in the event of a mass influx of people in need without a disaster actually happening in our country. Paramedics and carers from the German Red Cross are also often on site in major local events, whether it is one or two paramedics providing first aid at the local football tournament or an entire first aid area being set up at large festivals. Time and again numerous volunteers are out and about to provide support and ensure people's well-being. Of course, full-time staff are employed to work at the hospitals, old people's home, nurseries and medical services mentioned above. But in addition, volunteers from the local association ensure that blood donors are well looked after or provide support as paramedics at the town festival or the football tournament for a small amount of pocket money. Like the volunteer fire brigades, the mountain rescue and the water rescue teams are staffed by volunteers. And if you have always wanted to do something more for the health of others, perhaps get better first aid training or train as a paramedic, water rescuer or height rescuer yourself and be able to provide professional help where needed, the local DRK, local groups, is always happy to welcome new members. And depending on how it fits in your life, you may also be able to take on more or fewer tasks in the neighborhood or in international aid missions. Why don't you have a look? There is also a local DRK organization near you. Thank you for your attention and I'll see you in the next video.